Welcome to Dan's On Fandoms, I'm Dan. The recently released novel Shadowfall, which was written by Alexander Freed and is a sequel to the 2019 novel Alphabet Squadron, provides fans with an exciting story while introducing several new characters and locations to the Star Wars canon. One group that Star Wars fans were introduced to in Shadowfall is the cult known as the Children of the Empty Sun. But who exactly are the Children of the Empty Sun, what's their deal, and what do we know about them? Founded sometime after the Clone Wars, the Children of the Empty Sun were a cult that operated on the planet Katadra in the Cerberon system. Their name is derived from the black hole that the planets of the Cerberon system centered around, which was known as the Cerberon Singularity. Their founder, Ledage, was a middle-aged humanoid woman whose skin was covered in colorful blotches of fungal growth, which were dozens of tiny mushrooms. As the cult's leader, she called herself the Vessel and was often referred to as an interpreter of the Force. The cult worshipped the Force and made their members renounce violence, although they were not adverse to self-defense. Furthermore, they believed that the Force desired simplicity, life, and love. Conversely, they did not believe in the Empire or the New Republic and they also rejected droids. For a symbol, the Children of the Empty Sun used a cross inside of a circle. Two proclamations they had were the Force is light and fellowship is creation. And each day at dawn, members would pray to the Force. Following their prayers, members were expected to participate in various chores around the compound where the cult resided, such as cooking and cleaning. Within the compound, there were labyrinths and areas that were off-limits to many of the cult's members. Additionally, the cult would hold disquisitions, which were small groups where members sat in silence until someone had been moved by the force to speak, which usually resulted in confessions of sins. Members of the Children of the Empty Sun were only allowed to speak to those outside of the cult if they were recruiting them. New members were allowed to join the Children of the Empty Sun, but any weapons that the new members had were confiscated to be burned in a large fire. At least that's what the cult said would happen to the weapons. In actuality, the confiscated weapons were not destroyed and the fire that was apparently used to burn all confiscated weapons was created using lights to fool its members. Following a battle above Katadra between New Republic forces and the Empire, the Alphabet Squadron pilot Chasna Chaddock was left floating in space in her disabled ship. When she attempted to repair the damage done to her ship by going outside to the exterior maintenance panel, she thoughtlessly pushed away from her ship when the panel started sparking. As she floated alone in space, she was eventually saved by a member of the Children of the Empty Sun named Groiver. Chas would then go on to learn about the cult before eventually finding a way to escape them. And that's everything we know about the Children of the Empty Sun. With their only appearance in the current canon coming from Shadowfall, there's not a ton of information available on the Children of the Empty Sun. Nevertheless, their inclusion in Shadowfall brought a unique perspective on how a group of individuals within the Star Wars galaxy had reacted to decades of war, death, and desolation following the fall of the Republic and the rise of the Empire. But what do you guys think about the Children of the Empty Sun and their introduction in Shadowfall? Let us know down in the comments. Want more Star Wars content? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe and stay nerdy.